Hi, I'm Kazool and welcome to not the lair, but my office. I'm here to do a different kind of video than I normally do. Um, I started making tutorials on my channel a little under two years ago and I've because I've always loved sharing and tutorials were a great way to show every detail of my process. And about three months ago, I produced my very first pattern. Um, and I made a tutorial video for how to put it together and how to customize it. Um, over the time, I have been happy to see when people send me photos of stuff that they've created using my tutorials or using me as inspiration. Like it's so much fun because their photos inspire me to even create and share more because there's some really cool artists out there doing awesome stuff. So in this video, I want to share what some of those things that people have sent me. Um, I did my best to gather permission from various people who have sent me stuff. I know I've missed some, so uh, I'm sorry if I missed yours in particular. Um, I do want to make this video a regular occurrence though. It, so if you send me an email to kazoolcosplay at gmail.com with community feature in the subject line, That'll help me be able to organize it and, and t tell me how you want to be credited, that kind of stuff. That'll help me keep it organized so that I can more easily produce this kind of video in the future. So yes, with this video, I want to show off some awesome stuff that you guys have made. So without further ado, let's look into the magical crystal ball of the internet and see what you guys have created. All right, I'm all set up. I have my screen capture on and I have my notes over here. So if I look over here, then don't mind me. I'm looking at my notes for who sent this and to me and everything. Um, this first one comes from Carolina. I found her on Facebook through Evil Ted's Foam Fanatic, his, his group. I, I love being a part of that group and seeing what they made. So when, when my mask popped up, I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So you can see here, this is what she's put together. And I really like this. I think the metallics really look awesome on it. And I love all the, the filigree designs that are all over the face. Like it's just really super cool. Um, and, and I, 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 I like how she put, she extended the back of the head so that maybe it would fit her head better. And that's good because this is just a base. Everyone's heads are different and you can edit it to fit however you want. So I'm glad that she did add that little bit to make it fit her head. So thank you, Carolina, for sending this in. I think it's really awesome. This next one comes from Horse Halo 15. Um, that's their username on DeviantArt and Fur Affinity. And I found them when they sent me a message on Facebook. And they, they told me how excited they were about my eye tutorial. You can see here that they used that to create the eye of this dragon character. And so you can see here, this is their own sculpted iris that they did. I love how they added a little bit of gold paint onto the iris that really makes it pop. So, uh, yeah, I love that. And they also were building their head out of EVA foam, like flat piece together. And I haven't done, like my Kitsune mask pattern, that kind of showed the method, but they built this before I came out with that. And and this this is kind of how I built Hogger's head. So all the information that I put out there, they said that that helped them figure that out. And I just think it's really cool. I'm scrolling the wrong way. And here's the full entire costume all done. Oops. Yep. There it is. I think I'm missing one. There it is. So, and they said that they won, they won first place in their costume contest. So congratulations. And thank you for sharing. Oops, going the wrong way. Oh yes, here's here's some of their teeth. The this is exactly how I did Hogger's teeth, and they I remember they they said that they took inspiration from that. Love the texture on the teeth, and carving them out of foam like that makes them super light. 
Yeah, I'm not going to scroll anymore. It's like really confusing to know which direction to go. So congratulations, Horse Halo. Make sure to check out their account if you want to see more. This next one comes from Kuro. And this is like the most unique one probably that I've seen of somebody use my fox mask for. So that, yes, their name is Kuro. On um, Instagram, they're Indemana, or let's see, Indemana maybe? Indie Mana Illustrations. Sorry if I butchered your name. I'll put it up here. Uh, I'll put it up at the top of the video too so you can see. But they're on Instagram. I, I found them when they messaged me through Facebook. So what they did with the pattern, they converted it and made it more of like a, a druid cat is what they said it was. And I love this eye. I, I love the detail of the sculpted eye and the colors just pop against the the grays and these awesome blue patterns so this one is so unique and I love it because it's and I love that it's furred I think this is the only one yet that I've seen of putting fur on the fox mask pattern so yeah really really awesome work make sure to go check out more of their stuff this next one comes all the way from France and I'm not even going to try to pronounce their name. I'll just put it up at the top. You can find them on Instagram and also on Facebook. So make sure to go check out both of their accounts. Um, and they messaged me through Facebook to say thank you. They said that they used my eye tutorial for how to do the eyes. And I think they look great. And they also used the gum and lip technique that I used on Hogger. So I used... Uh, latex and cotton basically or creature cast and cotton in my case but that's what they did on the gums and I think this looks great this whole dragon looks so awesome like it, it's it's a big dragon puppet and it just looks so cool I love the use of the uh, the sequins the reversible sequins on the face like there's just so many textures and colors it's so cool so thank you this next one comes from Dark Aces 81 on Twitter. And how I found them is that they came and talked to me while I was at Furry Migration in, in Minnesota. Um, it, was, it was so cool. They came up and they said that they had used my tutorial that I'd written on Veriform. That's what this white mesh stuff is. And I never made a video on this topic, but I do have a blog post on my website. There's a link in the description below. I did a tutorial because Cosplays Supplies, they they came to me and in exchange for making a tutorial on how to make a fursuit head with it, they uh, sent me some of the material for free. So, and they were really impressed with it and built this whole head and I got to see it in person. So this is what it looks like underneath. And then here's what it looks like furred. And I thought, and I got a picture with it because I thought it was so cool. I thought they did a great job. It has a lot of personality and a great shape, and I'm sure it's really breathable in there. So they, they're starting a, a fursuit building company called Nubby, Nubby Tail Productions, and they're working on that Twitter account. It's not up yet, so check out Dark Aces 81 first for announcements on when they'll be taking commissions, but... And they've already started another Veriform head, and I'm blown away. And this this really makes me want to get some more Veriform and try it again, because I had a little bit of a hard time with it. I know it has potential, and the way that they worked with it was so cool. They helped, like, give me a new idea on how I can approach it. So very cool stuff. Make sure to go check out their accounts, because this is just so cool. And this really wanted... I really made me want to get back into building. I love seeing people's work that inspires me too. And the last one that I have to, for today comes from Terrible Trio Creations on Instagram. You see they're the Ashley siblings. So a whole bunch of siblings making cosplay together. That's so cool to me. I wish my siblings would want to build stuff with me. Anyway, I found them on Instagram when they tagged me in, in this post when they were making eyes for their con Grimblood cosplay. So you can see here, they use my eye tutorial. I think it looks great what they had. I, 
I love this picture. Anyways, what what I thought was really cool, like here's here's the eye all finished in the work in progress head, but then there's the other eye. They made it all foggy in there, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And so I asked them how they did it, and that's actually what I'm going to be doing or have done on my Goatman cosplay. You can see a picture now. But uh, th just that foggy, blind look, how it was very subtle. You could still see the pupil and that cut inside there. So cool. I love it. Anyway, they, they were also building him kind of like Hogger. So like a, a whole neck puppet head. You see, this, this head looks so gorgeous when it's all painted up. Man, and I love those scars and it just, I love it. Here's a video of it moving. Rawr. I just really like it. And they, here, here's it all finished. Looks so cool. I love the illusion of the legs. I love the tail dragon, the head, the face. And they're a finalist at TwitchCon. So watch TwitchCon, vote for them, whatever you do, whatever you work for it. So that was terrible trio creations. And man, that was so cool. Like so inspiring. I'm really glad that they gave me permission to show them off because this is just so cool work. I love it. So that's all I have for today. Um, I, I really want to do more of these kind of videos, just looking and gushing over other people's stuff. I, that, that's part of my selfish reason for creating tutorials and posting all my work in progress stuff is that I want to see more cool creatures. I want to see more cool costumes out there. So really awesome work, everyone. Keep it up. Send me more. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, make sure to go follow all the people that were featured. And I'm Kazool, reminding you to embrace your inner beast.